I'm sitting around thinking about all the things that you can buy with this clean currency. Like, could you go to a concert? Yeah, because, I mean, it's a service, right? I mean, it's musicians are playing for you. And could you go to a football game? You could. And, I mean, I realize it's, it's kind of confusing um, because... So you go to a store and then there, if it's available in the, if the item is a clean currency item, then the price will be in the clean currency. But if you don't have the clean currency, you can pay for it in dollars. Um, <clears throat> but what else could we include in it? Well, I think that it's, it's for necessities and for used stuff. That's, that's what it's about. So what, what would a necessity include? Uh, like something like medicine, like if you want to buy generic Tylenol or if you want to buy uh, allergy medicine, I think that should be something that's included. Because um, for some people, uh, like me, if I'm living in Texas, allergy medicine is kind of like tampons, like you have to have them. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. Why am I wearing this? Because I, I feel like I look Amish right now. Um, and I don't think Amish people are going to vote for me because I'm not religious enough. But they should vote for me because I will um, try to save the planet. All right. So, um, yeah, the other thing that this does is it gives us leverage over these companies. So say that I, um, want to tell the milk producers you're required to have reusable plastic where it's not recyclable, it's reusable. And, um, when a person buys from you, they can switch out their milk carton. So the truck comes and delivers the milk and then we fill the truck with plastic that's hard plastic and it goes back to them. Um, is this going to be a logistical nightmare? Probably. Um, it could it like, but I, 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 I mean, but I, I feel like we, it's a logistical nightmare that we need to get after. Um, if we want to, if we want to reduce oil consumption. Um, so I feel like the farmers are worried about this because I, I, I realized that I was a bunch of farmers and I don't know how to get them on board with me. And what I'm telling you is that this is going to be a very good deal for them. Um, because there's going to be so much demand for this currency because there's scarcity still, right? So like, even if I pay you a universal living wage and I'm like, okay, we're going to give you guys, um, it, if you make under $20,000 a year, you get $2,000 of this currency a month or maybe a little bit less. And if you make under $40,000 a year, then you get a thousand dollars a month of this currency and you can use it for whatever is available which is what is it for it's for necessities and it's for um it's for anything that's used anything you can buy power tools as long as they're used you can buy anything as long as it's used um so am i famous because this is like the most brilliant idea i've ever had i mean i'm sitting here like learning JavaScript again, and I'm sitting there going, shouldn't I be learning something else? But I, I don't know. I don't know. Is no one know who I am? In Iowa, Iowans should vote for me because my mom's from Iowa. Was she, is she from Grayville, Iowa? I don't really know where she's from. I can't remember where she's from. She's also from Illinois. Um, I don't know. like no one's ever heard of me and the people that have heard of me think I'm nuts and they're like dude I like your ideas but you're a crazy person and I'm telling you that's what the 25th amendment is all about um and one the real reason I'm crazy is because like I'm someone who my lyrics show up on famous people's twitter accounts at least when I used to have twitter they'd show up but then no one knows who I am and I've made zero dollars and it's 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 baffling to me but, um, I mean, I'm also crazy because this whole situation, it's, it's hard to explain how crazy I can be because of my relationship with the military, um, which by the way, who will I pick for secretary of defense? Maybe the guy who's number two at air force in the, in the air force for cybersecurity, or maybe he could be my cybersecurity czar. Cause I just like being around him. He's a nice guy. Um, and he's, he hasn't ever gone into the big money defense industry. Um, and I feel like he'd be a good advisor in general. I mean, I do, I do know people that are high up in the military, um, and that's why I can pick them based on whether or not I like them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have advisors that are pretty sound minded people. And, uh, I feel like I'm not going to get any more crazy 
as far as like my ideas i mean anybody who's talking about a war like this you know, how much how much more crazy can you get probably not anymore i mean i feel like for a lot of people the idea of a war with china is scary you know what's not a scary idea for me a war with china but do we have to have one no but do we very very possibly need to have one possibly um it really depends on the situation but i feel like the chinese um chinese want to get along with us or they will inshallah we'll see